the, the reason the reason that that I the, the the funny part about this is while I was going through a report, uh, a link to this popped up, and we're going to go through this. And the bottom line on this, this is the uh, Atlanta Fed immigrant immigrants generally speaking do not participate in the workforce for the first two years they're here in general that's not a new phenomenon uh, and then they gradually work themselves into the workforce uh as they you know get assimilated into the country now i don't think that's going to happen this time <laughs> i think this is a permanent welfare state uh we're creating however this data has been put out there uh to essentially tell everyone that the the immigrants coming in now they're not going to be working for the first two years generally speaking they'll be underemployed is a terminology they use now i don't say that with any derision uh i say that because that's how assimilation works you got to get you got to get you got to get jobs the question is are the people coming into this country now looking to assimilate i don't think they are I'm not going to go through this here. I'm just going to attach it so you can all see it. And there's, there's, here, I'll show you. There's a graphic in here. See, this is, this is immigration participation in the workforce. So the reddish line, that's two years or less. And generally speaking, they work less hours. Again, that's not a judgment. In fact, during COVID, during 2020, their hours went up because, well, the immigration came in and they were willing to work and other people were hiding in their houses, putting masks on, right? And now that's sloping down, their hours worked and sloping down. So everyone who's been here for two years or less, it's kind of like a moving average. I believe, I really believe this line is going to go down, 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 because I do not believe, and this is the key, this is really the key, people who come to this country historically they come to get away from something and make something better so economically and so there is a desire for the most part to assimilate the american dream you know you'll see that with uh uh, uh with many latins coming in from mexico uh, you'll see that with you know uh my grandparents right uh maybe your grandparents so you come here looking for something better. And, and that something better was premised on, I have to work to get something better, right? Most people were escaping socialism. Most people were escaping authoritarian fascism, like my grandfather was. Uh, people were escaping uh, communism. They were escaping a world that was not, rewarding merit and some of them were escaping just a lack of food or poverty now and an opportunity to work to make some money now you could argue and i would that many of the immigrants coming in now while i'm sure they have intentions of pursuing the american dream as i just described it i don't really think they've been uh made aware of what the american dream really is in terms of working in terms of capitalism in terms of there is a high degree of correlation of reward for merit here i believe a lot of the immigrants coming in now while they are looking to get away from something worse than than here they are looking right away to be taken care of okay so the story as as uh, as 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 biased and as right wing as it sounds is true so my grandfather came to this country with nothing and he got a job and he worked his way up and he ended up buying his own you know oven for a bakery etc cetera, etc cetera. you know there is a story about american immigration american immigration takes three forms and this is from a teacher that i had the American immigrant, the first job they have is as a garbage man. They pick up the garbage, 
right? And the second job they have is as a boxer. Uh, they become uh, fighters, right? And the third job they have is they become a lawyer. So that's the immigration, sim- uh, the immigration uh, American dream uh, simplified, but that's the idea. I don't think the people coming in now, a good bit of them are thinking that way. They're coming in saying, I need help, but I don't think I have to work for it.